Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim mod video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new faux mod installer of mine that's now available on the Nexus called the Anniversary Edition Content Picker. Now, as the name suggests, this allows you to pick and choose the content from the anniversary upgrade if you purchased it and take some of it out of the data folder and put some of it in. Or more specifically, it's going to allow your files to be managed with your mod manager very easily without having to sift through very obscure names. So essentially this video is going to be showcasing the installer, explaining why you may want to use it, and then proceeding to show you how to use it, because there's a little bit of work that's got to come from the user before you can go ahead and install it. So let's get started. Okay, so before I dive into the advantages of this so that you can understand why you may want to use this, what benefits it may have over just allowing everything to install and whatnot, uh, if you do want to skip this part, I will mention that you can just use the timeline scrubber down below and YouTube or the description uh, to click on the section that you want and jump straight into the installation because you are going to take a few steps before you can actually use this as it doesn't actually contain any Creation Club content. Obviously, that would be piracy. Uh, it is just an installer. Um, so jump to that bit if you like or hang around if you want to learn a little bit more about what this does and why you should use it. So essentially, the first thing I'll mention is uh, a clean data folder. Uh, when you download the content, uh, the upgrade, uh, what it does is you'll obviously get a standard update for the game itself, which will include the four pieces of free content that they're giving you uh, from the Creation Club and new stuff as well. Uh, that includes the survival mode, the fishing, uh, rare curios, and also saints and seducers. Now, on top of that, if you get the upgrade, which is what this installer is essentially based around, uh, it will all it will do is when you load the game, I'll show it on screen now. Um, when you load the game, it will go, thank you for downloading the anniversary edition uh, or whatever, paying for it essentially. Um, and it will go ahead and just download all of the content on the Creation Club as if you'd just gone onto the Creation Club and paid for it. So it just quite neatly sits there, downloads it all, gives you a progress bar. And what it will do, it will dump 74 pieces of content into your data folder. Now, if you're like me and you like a clean data folder and you like to be able to manage your mods, then this is going to be for you. It'll allow you to very easily take everything out of the data folder, you'll dump it in. I'll show you in the installation section what you do. And then this installer will only put back, if you're using MO, for example, into a virtual data folder, what you actually want to use. And you haven't got that mess in Mod Organizer or Vortex, and you haven't got that mess in your data folder. So clean data folder is one advantage. The other advantage is you'll get an overview of the content because what you're doing with the anniversary edition is you're just dumping all this extra content in. You don't know what it is. You don't know where it's come from. Uh, you don't know how to start various quests for it. You don't know who made it. If you're interested in knowing sort of who's made it, you might get an idea of the quality level or if it's going to be something to your taste, if a, an author that you, you, you follow has made it. So it's going to give you a good overview. And of course, it's going to let you pick and choose. Now, it's in your hands, and it's something that I'll, I'll cover in the next section uh, for considerations, but it's in your hands uh, to choose what you want installed and not installed, and it'll be your responsibility to make sure that you're aware of what you're really doing with that. Uh, but it'll let you pick and choose uh, if you know that some bits of content you just don't want or need. And also, uh, the key thing here uh, for mod managers is it will allow you to have a different section of Creation Club content if you install it as a separate mod each time. Uh, it'll allow you to have different bits of content for different characters. So you might find that you don't need the, I think it's about eight player homes. I might be wrong. Uh, you don't need all of those. You only want the player home active and the quests active for the one home that you want that suits your character. So this will let you do different CC content for different builds, just like you'd have different mods active for builds that you have. So that's really the advantages. Next, I'm going to go into the considerations. I do recommend that you hang around uh, for this bit before you dive into the installation, because uh, this can be quite important. OK, so if you wait this long to get to the installation bit, then please wait a little bit longer. This is an important section. First and foremost, uh, the biggest consideration here is that this is intended to be used with the anniversary edition. Those of you that have purchased uh, the anniversary upgrade as it is, not just the update, obviously, because you don't have all the content. Um, I've already done a video on my thoughts on this upgrade and what you can do if you do want to track back because you've already updated and whatnot and you want to go back to pre-AE essentially. 
you can check that video out at the top there. Um, but do be aware this installer is for anniversary edition. You can, in theory, use a lot of the content that's pretty much, as I mentioned earlier on, downloaded from the Creation Club anyway. You should be able to just use a lot of that with pre-AE, but it's going to be entirely up to you to do your research and make sure that stuff that you're adding or removing uh, is going to work, as there are some pieces of content that are going to rely upon the updates to the actual game. So if you were to do pre-AE, it may not work. Uh, I have noted where I'm I'm sort of in the know about those. I've noted in the installer where I can that something is a piece of content that you should be using with AE and not pre-SE, but I haven't got the capability to go through uh, all the time to <laughs> run through and make sure and see what every single individual changes. So that's entirely up to you to sort of check out. Um, but yes, this can potentially work a, a big chunk of it could potentially work with SE uh, before the anniversary edition update, but it's intended for anniversary. So something to consider is that what you're essentially going to do with the process that I will show you after this section is you're going to be taking all of the content, all of the ESMs, ESLs, BSAs that it's dumped in the data folder, and you're going to be storing them elsewhere. That means that they're not in the data folder. Now, if you were to verify your Steam cache, I haven't tried it, <laughs> but if you were to verify your Steam cache or reload the standard launcher uh, with the game, it may well try and re-download all of that content. So be aware of that that if you do ever need to verify, because sometimes Skyrim likes to break or things go wrong or you delete something, be aware that re-verifying and whatnot may well try and put these files back. Usually it only does it the first time when you reload the game. So just something to be aware of. So now we're going to dive into the actual installation, what you need to do to get the installer up and running. Okay, so now we get down to the installation process. Don't worry, it's not very difficult, it's not very long at all. It's relatively simple, but obviously this does not include any CC content because that would be piracy. So all it is in is, is a phone mod installer, but a phone mod installer requires files to actually install and function. So what we're going to do is first of all, go onto the Nexus, go to the mod page, be linked in the description down below, and go to the anniversary edition content picker. You'll go to files, and click on manual download. You can't download this with manager on purpose because obviously there's nothing in it uh, in terms of files. So we need to make some changes. Manual download. And funnily enough, it requires everything. It's probably the only mod on the Nexus that actually has just everything as a requirement. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, click download. That should happen pretty quickly. Uh, let me just double check where that's gone. I don't know why that doesn't work. Show in folder. There we go. Right, so I can do show in folder. Uh, it should be in your downloads, and then you'll see it's a zip file. So 7-zip in my case. You'll need 7-zip, WinRAR, Windows Extractor, something just to extract this. So do 7-zip and extract to Anniversary Edition Content Picker. So that will put it into a nice folder for you. Go into there. And you'll see you've got CC content, phone modern images. The only one we care about is the CC content. If you go into it, you'll see there's nothing in it. So essentially what we've got to do is fill that with all of the CC content. So what we need to do is go into that folder. We'll put that to the side for a moment. I'm just going to open a, another Explorer window. So I've gone straight to my Skyrim special edition directory. I'm going to go into data. I've got that pinned to my quick access. And then what you'll see in the data folder, assuming that it's already gone ahead and downloaded everything, uh, as I showed earlier in the video, you should see that you've got all of these files, CC, AF, CC, BG, SSC. It's not very well named, which is part of the reason for the installer. And you've got various files, including BSAs, ESLs, ESMs. In total, there's about a hundred and 40-ish files, um, but essentially what you'll need to do is sort by type like I've done here, and then you'll get all the BSAs at the top, and then just drag and hold and select the first 74 files. So keep going until you hit about Skyrim animations, and you'll check down the bottom that you've got 74 items selected. What you're going to do is right click and you're going to cut those and you're going to put them into CC content. Now, before you do this, I would strongly recommend that you just have all of your files for your CC content backed up elsewhere just in case anything ever goes wrong or you need to just get them back. Um, so just cut them 
put them in here after you've made a backup of them elsewhere. And then you've got all that in there. And then you'll see there's even more. So past all of the, the standard SCRM BSAs and whatnot, there's a bunch of ESLs and ESMs. So we're going to do the same job and we're going to highlight all of these. And we're going to right click, cut those, paste those in again. That should be another 74 items or so. So it's 148 items in total that you should see in your CC content. And then what we're going to do is highlight all three of those. Right click, show more options in my case, add to zip, and we're going to click add to archive. Again, might be a little bit different if you're using something else. And I'm just going to give it a nice clean name so it's already filled in most of it. And it's anniversary edition content picker. So we're just putting in what's needed, rezipping it up, and then we can throw it into our mod manager. Click OK. And what that's going to do now, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for me. It's about five minutes. It may well be quite a bit longer for you, depending on the speed of your system. It's going to go ahead, package all of that up, ready to go, and then we can load it into our mod manager. OK, and while that zips, before we jump onto the next section of actually seeing the, the installer and whatnot, in your Skyrim directory, so back one from your data folder, you should see that there is a Skyrim.ccc, Creation Club content, I imagine. There is a file here, and from testing, if this is not there, the files may well not work. It may not load them into the game. So just make sure you've got this. If we open this up in, in something like um, Notepad++, uh, I want an update. I don't want an update. No, thank you. Uh, load it up in here. You'll see what it is. It's just literally a list of all of the, the ESMs and ESLs. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's something that it's checking against to know that it's all there. Um, but it is important that that file remains there and does not move. And in theory, and I've tested it, um, if you have got everything taken out of the data folder, as long as you don't launch with the standard launcher and you're using SKSE, uh, you should be good. Uh, it shouldn't actually go ahead and uh, congratulate you on, on stuff again, probably because that file's there um, and it should just uh, allow you to use everything how you've got it. Okay, so now it's gone ahead and packaged itself up into 2.7 gig in total. And what I'll do is open up my mod manager of choice. So I've got mod organizer, you might use Vortex. Uh, go ahead and add it from mod or zip file. And I'm just gonna go into where it's been stored. So this is where it is. Go ahead, click open. Uh, that will extract the files. It may be pretty quick like that, or it may take a little bit of time. It is quite a lot of content. And you should be presented with this lovely box with all this information and pretty pictures. So all of this has pretty much been taken from the from the wikis, which is all from the Creation Club uh, store page and whatnot. Uh, all placed into here with a lot of stuff added as well and, and reformatted. Uh, but you'll have this notice here. You've essentially now watched this video. Hopefully you, you've understood a lot of it and... Um, you're happy with it so click on next you will need to make sure you click continue if you don't click continue it is going to do this it's going to say that you failed and it's not going to install anything so if we go back and we click on continue and next you'll see that now what you've got is a huge collection of items from the creation club content so the anniversary upgrade that you can choose from that you can select that you can install you can see um, a description of it how you can start it in some cases some some information wasn't there uh, and also who created it in uh, in a lot of instances although some of it doesn't seem to have a, a creators attached and you just go through and you pick what you want. So I'll select just some of this stuff. Again, it's going to be down to you to uh, understand what you, you should and shouldn't remove, depending on if you're doing like a, a backport into SC. Some of this stuff may or may not work. Um, and making sure that if you do have any saves or anything else, attach this content that you're not just ripping it out. Um, but this will allow you put things back in a nice tidy way and also just choose what you want, really. So you just run through it. I'll do it real quick here. Just keep clicking next, clicking on various bits and bobs. You can select everything that you want, which is nice. Again, you get the pictures, the info. 
Uh, some of them will be pre-selected already. So the four pieces of free content, so the survival mode, the fishing, the rare curios, the saints and the juices, that stuff is already going to be pre-ticked. And I do recommend that you just keep that enabled because it was part of the free update. Obviously, if you're doing a pre-AE thing, then you're probably going to need to do the opposite and remove them um, if they are going to be reliant upon um, sort of information in the new ESM updates and whatnot. Uh, for the game so again do your research make sure that you're, you're not ripping stuff out that you shouldn't be um, and putting back anything that is going to be um, quite heavy requirement uh, so yeah just read all the details and um, also give some love to the mod authors who have made some of this stuff um, me personally I've, I've found a lot of this to be actually pretty cool uh, a lot better than I was expecting not something that I would have been happy to pay the money for on the creation club but as a bundle uh, for this money for like a 15 pound upgrade um it's it's neat it's pretty good i just untick goblins because i don't like the goblins and there's already goblins in uh, beyond skyrim so don't need the goblins um but yeah some of this stuff uh, again like i mentioned player houses you may not want all of these um you may want to pick and choose depending on your character so if you've got a mage character for example uh, and just run through and click on them and what you'll get when you go ahead and install so we just ignore that stuff for, for example uh, click on install should run through and assuming that you've done everything correctly it's going to grab all those files that you put in grab all the right ones depending on what you chose it's going to gather them all together and install them uh, in mod organizers case uh, into a virtual data folder and then when you go into open with explorer as you can see you've got all the content here now something that you could do uh, if you just packaged it all yourself without my installer is in theory if you go to information and optional esps you could knock things off but again one of the advantages of this store installer is the fact that you don't have to remember what all these names are because some of them are incredibly unclear and you haven't seen what you're removing so you may you may not have realized that some of the stuff is actually pretty cool or not to your liking uh, so you could have done that, but and you still can do that. But it just allows you to also not have a humongous mess here. Even though you can put these into separators, at least in Mod Organizer, it just avoids the mess. And again, if you look at the Special Edition folder, Data folder, nice and clean and tidy. And again, just make sure you've got that Skyrim CC C file in there. But otherwise, it's just about it. And that is just about it for this Skyrim mod video. So please let me know your thoughts. Are you looking at using this? Is this going to be helpful for you? Um, just let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also hit that like and subscribe button if you want to get more videos like this one. I've got some more content upcoming as well. Um, otherwise also check out my work over on my website at www.darfox127.co.uk. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll speak to you next time.